Hi, my name is Johnny Lindstrom. I'm the chairman of the board of directors of the National Marine Electronics Association. And for my full-time job, I am a part of the marine electronics team at Westport Yachts. We build a series of motor yachts from 85 to 165 feet. We're standing on one right now. An interesting thing to me about the way technology is going, uh, I started in this trade in about 1977. I know I only look 39, but I'm a bit older than that. And at that point in time, if your uh, radar was down or your autopilot was down, the boat wasn't going anywhere. Today, the trend is if the internet is down, you better get somebody on a jet to come and fix it because we got to have that. Same with the TV. So the trend towards bringing the uh, amenities, if you will, that started in our office as far as connectivity and then went to our homes with connectivity and entertainment and then to our cars, cars are connected now, have absolutely come on board. And But there's a big, big difference in how that gets delivered to a boat as opposed to how it gets delivered to your home office or car. A boat is a wireless device way away from most connection infrastructure and so it's a very challenging, uh, very challenging thing to do. On our vessel we use a managed network structure and we have five internet sources available on each of our boats. Uh, we have VSAT, we have cellular, we have fleet broadband, we have Wi-Fi and we have Shore. And we provide the means of, for the user to select e each of those uh, sources very easily. And then throughout the boat is a wireless network that gives access to anybody on the boat. And it's broken into categories such as crew, guest, owner, and we have the ability to limit for say the crew access to internet services while the guest and the owner are on board. And that provides a great benefit. Westport prides itself on being a brand that stands behind its product. We, I think, arguably have the best customer service team of anybody in our industry. We take care of our customers. The only way, way we can do that is by partnering with manufacturers of the products we put on the boats to take care of us and provide us the support uh, so that we can provide that support to the customers. So when choosing products uh, to go on our boats, I have a four-step process. First, it has to function for whatever it is it's supposed to be. If it's a radar, it needs to show targets. If it's a fish finder, it needs to show fish, so on and so on. Uh, and it needs to be reliable. So reliability is affected by installation greatly, but also by the manufacturer that made the product, the quality manufacturer of a product, things like that. Then serviceability. How is it installed? Can it be serviced? And what kind of support does the manufacturer give for that serviceability? And we need to look at global brands because our boats go around the world. And the fourth is the whiz-bang factor. And that's my least, personally, my least important factor, but it's certainly a factor in how we choose things. But when we're choosing products for our boats, we really focus on the support that we're going to get from the manufacturer because we can't support the product out in the field. Uh, as well if we don't get support from the manufacturers. The very fact that we have KVH on our boats is a testament that we believe they provide very good customer support. They support us very well and that allows us to support our customer and they support our customer out in the field as well if they're not, if, if the system is having a challenge somewhere, anywhere on the planet, we can call KVH service department and they coordinate with a local dealer if necessary or their own staff to take care of that problem promptly. As I said, I've been in the business for a little while and in the uh, early 90s I embarked on a campaign to become very focused on satellite technologies because that's when the satellite technologies were really taken off and, and I've, I've made a pretty good career out of engaging in satellite technologies of all sorts that we have. Uh, KVH has been there all along starting I believe it was the TV1 a very long time ago. Uh, and continues to innovate and support their products uh, and grow their product portfolio. Of course, they were back in the Inmarsat uh, track phone days doing that product line and the uh, advent of the Mini VSAT of theirs, which is doing a great job. Uh, they've, they've done a good job at promoting that industry and growing that industry for the, for the good of all. The biggest advancement that we see going on today is that in the area of content delivery. Um, we're getting faster and faster speeds at lower and lower costs available worldwide through uh, networks such as the KVH Mini VSAT broadband network uh, along with others that are out there. Uh, 
Um, and the content delivery is the big deal. Uh, again, something else KVH is doing with, with some others is their mobile cast system, which allows for content delivery based on subscription, and it gives your crews an opportunity to gain access to trainings, uh, keep your charts up to date, uh, provide some entertainment content, uh, news content, and things like that that are all delivered in the background at no cost to the airtime of the device, just the subscription service. And we think that's going to be a great product.